Calculating your NCD Church survey results or producing advanced profiles of your results can be done when you have the relevant token. These tokens are available from the person who set you up with your account on the website. To make a token request, visit the Request Tokens page under the Tokens tab. Before you make your request, you'll be able to see on the left side of the screen any tokens that you already have available in your account. To make a token request, select the country and language that relates to your survey. If these options do not appear for you, don't worry. It means that your country and language has been preset for you by the person who set up your account. Select the type of token you would like to request. Each type of token allows you to create a different kind of profile. For example, to calculate the result for one church survey, you'll need a basic profile token. If you've already calculated your church's basic result, you may like to create an advanced profile showing more detail about your results. In that case, select the advanced profile you would like to produce. If you are unsure about which profile you would like to produce, please contact the person who set up your account. Then, type in digit form the number of tokens you would like to request. You will need one token for each profile you would like to produce. If you have more than one congregation's result to calculate, you will need to request more than one token. Optionally, you can add a message that your token vendor will see when you make the request. Once you are certain that the details for your request are correct, click the Request button. You'll be able to see the status of your token requests on this page. Your token vendor will receive an email letting them know that you have requested tokens. This email will include a link to where they can view the token request. To check the history of your received tokens, click on the Received History tab. Most times, you'll never need to check this. However, if you ever have a need to track larger numbers of tokens you've received during a specific period of time, this is where you can do so. If you have lots of tokens, you can use some of the other fields to narrow down your search according to things like the type of token you received or the time frame in which you received them. In addition to being able to request and receive tokens, the website also provides the ability for you to set up accounts for other churches or even other NCD coaches. Your account can be upgraded so that you have such a coach or sub-partner role. If you would like to expand your NCD ministry beyond your own local church, then speak to the person who set up your account about these options. If that doesn't apply to you right now, feel free to stop the video at this point. If you do have a coach or sub-partner account, you will see that you have additional tabs available to you under the Tokens tab. One of these is your Token Requests page. Usually, you will arrive on this page having received an email letting you know that one of the people you have set up an account for has requested tokens. That token request email will include a link to this page. In most circumstances, if you are happy to send tokens to that person, you can select the token requests you would like to approve and then click Update. On the left side of the screen, you will be able to see your available tokens. If you find that you do not have sufficient tokens for the given token request, you may need to use the Request Tokens tab to request tokens from your token vendor. In some circumstances, you may be happy to approve tokens. However, it may be your policy that the person pays for them before you approve them. If something like this is the case, you can select the relevant token requests, mark the token status as pending, and click Update. You may like to add a message that the user will see explaining your reason for setting the token request to pending. This message will appear in an email to them letting them know that their token request was set to pending. You may have a situation where someone has requested tokens, perhaps not realising they already had tokens in their account, or they may have requested more tokens than they need or have paid for. In these cases, you may want to delete their request. You can do this by setting the token status to delete and then clicking update. If someone has requested the wrong type of token or the wrong amount of tokens, you may like to delete their request and then provide them with the correct tokens directly. You can do this from the provide tokens directly tab. This option can also be useful if someone has placed an order by telephone, email or via your own online store as you may like to provide them with their tokens upfront without requiring them to use the token requests page. 
Start entering the customer's account name and you will see the full account name appear underneath. Select the name of the account you would like to send tokens to. Then, you will need to select the country and language that relates to their survey request. If these options don't appear for you, don't worry. Again, it means your country and language options have been preset for you by the person who set up your account. Next, write in digit form the amount of tokens you would like to send. Optionally, you can add a message for the customer that will be included in the email they will receive, letting them know that you have sent them tokens. Once you are certain all this information is correct, you can click Provide Tokens. To view the history of the tokens you have sent to customers, click the Sent History tab. If you have any reason to track the tokens you have provided to customers, you can use this page to confirm the tokens you have sent to a particular customer at a particular time. You can filter your sent history the same way as your received history. So, this has been a summary of how you can request tokens, how you can review the tokens you've been sent, how you can respond to token requests, how you can directly provide people with tokens, and how you can review the tokens you have been sent. As always, if you'd like some help, please email or phone the person that set up your account for you, or write to me using the contact form. Happy surveying!